Okay, we're going to start by preparing the electric cap to put it on the head. The electric cap has inside 23 different electrode sites, and each one of them has a little reservoir that we fill with gel that brings the gel into contact with the scalp. On the outside, it has a small entrance, and we're going to use the needle to inject the gel into this hole, fill up the reservoir, and then we should have a good connection. I'll show you how we're going to do all of that. We also have these white foam donuts, each of which has a sort of a shiny side to it, and that's the side usually which goes against the head. You can buy these and use them one time. I usually use them several times and clean in between. The cap also has what are called eardrops. The eardrops are these two wires which have plugs on them, one red, one white, and they're going to come out the side so that when we put our two ear clips, one red and one white, on the earlobes, we can plug them directly into the cap. These will be our references. So let's start by preparing. I'm going to take this gel, just squeeze some of it into a small container. If you have the large jar, you can load directly from the jar. And the needle and syringe you can remove the needle from the syringe by just unscrewing it. And then the syringe will actually draw the, the gel up into the electrode. You notice that on the cap, each one of these inside electrodes has a wire. And the wires all go out through the same point, And they form into this cable which will plug into the QWIZ. So each individual site goes to a specific pin on the QWIZ plug, and that allows us to tell BioExplorer that we want this site and this site for training or for assessment. The cap, when we put it on, we need to have the front in the correct place. And the back of the cap has a tag in it that tells you the size of the cap and so forth. The front has, it's the only place that has these two sites with a triangle and another point above it. So it forms this. There's no other place on the cap that has it. It's very simple once you find it just to take a magic marker and put a mark on that place so that you can find it. So we'll take the cap and put the front in the front. These two of the electrode sites are the only ones which really are going to be directly on the skin. So for many people, over a period of time, even a fairly short period of time, the client may find that uncomfortable because it's pressing directly against the skin. For that reason, we have our two little white donuts, foam donuts, and I'm just going to put those on the sites with the shiny side in. I'm going to make sure that I have my, my eardrops coming out the sides like this. And then I'm going to put this in the center of the forehead. I want my mark to be above the nose. And now I'll ask the client to hold these two spots. 
And now I should be able to just grab the back of the cap. Again, make sure that my eardrops are coming out properly. Which they were before. And I pull the cap back and down and stretch it down to the back of the head. It should go down over the top of the ears. And then I want to make sure that these, this line down the center of the head is really going down the center of the head. So I can measure from the holes of the ears into the center and move these things just a little bit. Is that comfortable? Yes. Okay. So we should be good to go. The eardrops have come out the sides where they're supposed to be and the cap is on the head. The next thing to do is to put the ear electrodes on. This is the white one, so it's going to go on the side that has white. And you notice that Denise is wearing earrings. We don't have to take those off. We should be able to put the cap on without doing that. So I'll inject a little bit of the gel, just enough to fill that. You can prep the ears or just clean them with alcohol. And I'm going to put the side that has the gel on the inside, hold it in place, and then snap down this little thing which holds it. Then I'll plug these two together. It's always a good idea to do the plugging first because it's very, very easy after you've gotten all the other sites ready to forget to plug those in. So we'll prepare this one also. Just enough gel to fill. The side with the gel goes on the inside of the ear lobe. We hold it in place, snap down the top, and plug them together. You should aim when you're doing this for somewhere between six and eight minutes to prepare the whole cap. So practice with that in mind that you're going to try and go fairly quickly. It's much faster than putting the electrodes on. One of the things you have to be careful though is you want to remember to get all of the sites. And it's not always easy to remember whether you've done that or not. So set up some kind of a pattern that you always use and then even if you're chatting with a client, you'll know that you've done things in a certain order. I like to do the center sights first, then I go to the right starting at the front and go to the back, then I go to the left and, and do the same thing. This sight here, the one which is at the top of the triangle, is AFZ. That's not a sight we're going to use for measuring, this is the ground. So even if you're not doing a full assessment and you don't need to prepare all the sites, you need to have AFZ or else you'll get a bad signal. So I'm going to put the needle in that hole very lightly. Is that going through? Mm -hmm. There we go. And if there's hair there, we need to lightly wiggle the needle around to get down through the hair to the scalp, but we're not putting any pressure on it. And then lift it up just a little bit and inject the gel. When the gel starts to come out of the hole, then you know that you've got enough. And then I like to give the, the site a little press. All right, we'll move to FZ. Definitely got hair here. 
So we'll lift it up just a little bit so that we're not pressing it against the scalp. It's important when you clean the cap that you run something through these holes and clean them out so that you don't end up with dried prep or dried gel inside the hole and then have to push the needle through. I usually, when we start with a client, especially a child, I'll say to them, okay, I'm going to use this now to put the gel. I've already showed them how it's going to go in here. And I'll say, look, it's not sharp at all. Let me see your hand. See? It's, it's flat, so it doesn't hurt. I'm not going to inject anything into you at all. We're just going to use it to put the prep, put the gel into these holes. So when we have the cap completely on, and we've prepped all the sites, we're just going to take the Q-Wiz and the cable, and they plug together right here. Make sure it's pressed in well, and that's all you have to do. When we actually go into Bio Explorer, you, if you have the proper version, the latest version of Bio Explorer, you'll see the Wiz window open, and there will be an area there where you can make sure that the references are linked. That will show with this little green light being on. And we're ready to go. When it comes time, when you finish the training, let's look at what we're going to do to take the cap off and to clean it. First of all, I give the client a paper towel because there may be gel on the forehead. And when we pull this off, she has that available to sort of keep the gel from coming down into her eyes. I'm going to get underneath the front of the cap where these two donuts are and I just pull back from the front. It's a good idea to take the ear clips off and remove the cap. And notice when you've done a good job of putting in the electrode paste, the gel. Notice that when you've done a good job of putting in the gel, we don't see gel on the hair. If you take the cap off and you have big blobs of gel on the hair, you're not getting through to the scalp. So you need to be more careful about that wiggling movement and then pushing it out. In many cases, you can just take the paper towel maybe with a little bit of water on it, and dry off any spots where there is gel. You can see even with those uh, donuts, we have a little bit of a pressed space here. That'll go away pretty quickly. But cleaning the client up in this case is very, very simple. Much easier than doing it with electrode paste. Mm -hmm.